And we're back, and as you can see, we are in Embry Crossroads. Um, definitely taking an FPS hit here. Most likely because I'm also uh, trying to lower the quality of the other video. Where is... This is really going to be a short video for the most part, other than uh, showing you where to turn in all these other missions. Uh, the, where the hell... There you are. Uh, Embry Crossroads has the level 10, sorry, 11 through 20 respec injectors. You want to remember these, or at least buy them before you leave if you think you need a respec. This actually makes it very easy for players to keep a rifle up until level 20, and then respec into another weapon line once they have the ability to. So you can literally use the Zanesville rifle all the way up until 20 or you can get a sniper rifle all the way up until 20 and then switch to another weapon that would benefit you a little more since around that time it'll be much easier uh, than trying to sit there in melee range or pistol range if you have to fight NPCs because you could use a sniper rifle if you get a 60 rifle skill and that gives you some nice range to hit NPCs so that'll help you immensely if you collect these respec injectors so at level 20 you can respec into your normal weapon skill but it's pretty much your choice on that note, but always remember these are here. Alright, outside of that, we're going to go ahead and start turning in all these damn mi Get some XP. So we're going to turn in the one that I picked up that was extra first, and then we're going to turn around because there is the ATV quest. We are not doing the ATV quest this, uh, this video, so sorry, but not going to happen. That mission takes way too long for me to put into one video. It'll literally probably be like a five-part video, realistically speaking. Yeah, see, the ATV mission is up here. You can turn it in, and then they also have ones that you have to complete afterwards, because you have to do a huge series of missions just to get your ATV. And it's not even getting your ATV, it's getting the parts so you can craft an ATV. So you see, he's going to tell you there's people near nearby to help you make that ATV. This is where it's at. So, if you don't feel like doing it right away, bookmark it. Make sure you have it waypointed if you're not going to be crafting it right away and you think you might want to craft it later. I most likely will on this character, but for the most part, not caring about at this moment in time. Trying to get all these videos done for you guys for right now so we can get on to skills and mutations since I have to make a guide for Steam. And theirs doesn't really support my giant wall of text, so we're going to make videos instead. Alright, so we're not doing the COG part. We're just going to keep going, turning all these missions, get all our bonus XP. You'll notice we leveled up as well, so that's always nice. And I'm going to again raise my endurance and my intelligence because those are my most important stats at the moment. And then there's one down here. Oh, and right, I haven't shown the auction house yet, so I guess since this video is a little short, I'm going to show you the auction house since I haven't... Well, no, actually I did show you the auction house before, but I guess I could show you some more of its features. And while I'm running there, I'll actually tell you how to turn this off, but also, if you close the tips before, you can hit this little arrow down here, and it'll tell you all, all about the tips and everything else. So... If you ever need to get them back, you can always pull that up, hit the arrow down here, and go through all the tips. And to get rid of them, and I should have noticed it before, there's help tips right here. Oh, it closed because I went too far. Help tips right here. You click it. No more help tips. If you need them back on, you can always turn them on the same way. But let's go ahead and check out the auction house. In Embry, there's three, so... And of course, I believe this is, yeah, this is one of the only auction houses you can uh, get your mount to, so a lot of them have like a no mount zone. 
So, of course, you can search items by name. Uh, requirements. Honestly, I don't look by requirements. It's always by name. Just, I, I hate this search feature. If someone knows how to use it and feels like uh, sending me a private message here on YouTube or on the forums is Reaps989. That's my forum name, obviously. And of course, you can also look through all auctions. If someone feels like explaining all that, or maybe one day I'll decide to go ahead and work with all the search options. I never got item level and uh, required attributes set up, but I know if I want to search by type, I can do it like this, so it's not too bad. But most of the time, I generally will try and ignore it completely. Oh no, maybe it's here. Yeah, I want to do this. Where it has all auctions to search. The required attribute I'm bad with, and the item level I don't think works the way that I think it does, but I'm not going to play with it right now because we're going to go on to the skills and mutations, which I'm not going to do in-game because it is not accurate in-game all the time. And I will explain why uh, at some point in time. Actually, no, I can explain now. Basically, when you put in your stats, um, it shows even and odd. So let's see if I can show you that really quick. I'm not actually going to put any extra points. Like if I pump up my endurance, I'm trying to see if I get my armor used to go up by one point. You see there where it goes to 49? Your skills and mutations cannot go up by an odd number. Ever. So the only way to find out if that's even or odd is using a build planner, or if you go ahead and find out what the uh, modifiers are by both your skills. And of course you'll notice I also have negative stats on these uh, from my gear, so you might want to take that off. Actually make sure if that even affects... Okay, no, it does not fe affect your skill line. I just wanted to make sure, because I was pretty sure it didn't, but better to be safe than sorry and tell you some wrong information. But yeah, basically, skills and mutations cannot go up by an odd number. The only one that can is trade skills. That is the only exception to the rule of it going to even numbers or odd numbers. So, try and remember that. And outside of that, that's pretty much all I really want to show on this video. Of course, I showed you where the ATV quests are. And I'm going to go ahead and stop this video, and maybe I'll pick back up on this character at some point, depending on if anybody requests it. But for now, you're in Embry, you're ready for your ATV quest. Um, any missions in Oilville that you wanted to do, when you were in Oilville, you can go back and do them anytime. But... Pretty much, I go straight to Embry and I start doing my Embry quest. Because by the time you go through all of Embry's quests, and it sends you through the ATV quest, you're literally going to be high enough for every single part of the ATV quest because it's going to send you to the north. So, don't really worry about it. And if you noticed, I totally missed the Protecting Life Net mission. That kind of pisses me off. Missed a nice little boost of XP. Don't do the same thing I did in that sense. But yeah, any missions you want to do, go ahead and do them. Uh, I'm probably not going to be on this character for a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and start my skills and mutations guide. Take care, have a nice day, and see you next time.